Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, choir master, organist at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis, and also the artistic director and founder of Vocal Essence. Here we are in the beautiful Guild Hall of Plymouth Church, a room that is used often for rehearsals, both for Vocal Essence and Plymouth Church. And I'm pleased that I can be talking today about the music of Herbert Howells, one of the great composers from England, but a man who isn't as well known because, of course, a great deal of what he wrote was just music for choir and organ. I say just because for many people, if it's not orchestral, then what is it? Well, you'll know in a minute because this was a wonderful composer. He was born in 1892, died in 1983, and is one of the few composers buried in Westminster Abbey. He studied at the Royal College of Music with Stanford and with Perry. And I remember I had the great honor in 1968 when I was studying in Europe to be in London and a friend of mine, Malcolm Williamson, said, who do you want to meet? And I said, I would love to meet Herbert Howells, this short little Englishman dressed very properly always. And uh, he suggested that we would have a meeting. I went to the Royal College and of course I was just in awe to meet this man. I knew his choral music so well. And I walked in and I, what do you say? And so I just said, oh, Dr. Howells, looking around, I saw a picture of Perry, another picture of Stanford. And I said, uh, this room looks lived in. And he looked at me and he said, it is, it is very much lived in. Perry was here, Stanford was here, and I'm still here. And that was the start of our afternoon together. He was very fond of the English Renaissance. And one of the things that he did was write a series of dances that were in the style of Renaissance music. So I'm gonna play two of them for you in his, from his little book of dances, the, the Minuet and then the Pavan, music by Herbert Howells.
During the Second World War, Herbert Howells was the organist at St. John's in Cambridge, England. And uh, it was there that he, of course, began to write a number of pieces for organ and also writing a great deal of choral music, most of it for choir and organ. In 1953, he was one of the composers who was invited to write music for Queen Elizabeth II's coronation. And in 1964, he wrote an eloquent piece that I hope you will listen to. We've done it with the ensemble singers several times. It's a piece that he wrote in memory of John F. Kennedy called Take Him, Earth for Cherishing. It's an incredible piece, a poem by Helen Waddell, and a piece that uh, anytime we've sung it, and both the Plymouth Church Choir has sung it, uh, we've just been moved to have such a wonderful piece. However, I thought it was important that we hear something of his organ music because he is famous for that as well. This is a Sarah band that he wrote for Easter Day. Now, I shouldn't play it on the piano, so give me just a moment while I go to the wonderful 89-rank Holtkamp organ here at Plymouth Church. <laughs> <laughs> 